guys welcome to another episode of she likes it hard i'm Alyssa. i'm chastity um and let us know how you guys are doing right now how are you doing self check in (laughs) all right it's enough enough. yeah it's good enough chastity how are you today i'm doing good i just got back from my work trip we went to tampa how many people went I don't know. I don't know. Oh. It was... It was, like, a lot? Probably, like, 30 of us. Oh. Oh, okay. Because, like, um, it was, like, people from international... Inter... Overseas, international, too. Um, So, yeah, it was about 30 of us. It was fun. We did, like, a... um, What is it called? An amazing race. So, we were, like, running around Tampa, like, solving riddles and, like, doing challenges. That's different. It was fun. I was tired, though, because it was hot as heck in um, Tampa, like, hot, humid. I've been telling people, well, he, sweat. like, really exhaust you. Like, and then they, we was running. We was doing a slight sure jog running. around Tampa, like. <sighs> they was having y'all team build. <laughs> yeah, we were team building. Which was so crazy because, like, some of the people, like, the people who are on, like, my team for mm-hmm. the Amazing Race, like, there was a language barrier. <laughs> so, like. We weren't really talking. We were just like, oh, yeah. It was only me and the other American guy talking, really. And then, like, the other um, two guys. Well, one of them, he was trying. But the other guy, he... oh, it was right. just like if I went to Mexico. Like, you, yeah. you could only, I could only catch so many words. <laughs> so, yeah, it was all right. It was fun. It was nice, though, like, for a work trip to go to Yeah, Tampa, we like... went to the Tampa. And then... And then we got in the ocean and we, we had on swimsuits and I was like, wow, now we see my VP's like body. Like, <laughs> oh, that is kind of weird. <laughs> and that's then I was like weird. feeling self-conscious and I don't even feel self-conscious like when I like. Right. But it's like, who wants to be in a bikini yeah. in front of their boss? Like that's, yeah. Yeah. It's it, was, like, it was weird, but like, it wasn't bad. Like it wasn't bad, but it was just different. Yeah. I would feel like I went to work in my underwear or something. Like, yeah, like yeah. I just, I don't know. I feel a little exposed. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> oh, but it was fine. That. I don't think anybody was really checking for it, but mm-hmm. like it was just me in my head, but it was cool. It was fun. Mm-hmm. 10 out of 10. All right. 9 cool. out of 10. That is. <laughs> She'll go back is what she's saying. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, we'll get into our hard ask of the day. So it says, hi, Alyssa and Chastity. Hello. Um, I have been dating my boyfriend for six months now and things between us are going great, but I'm not a huge fan of his brother. He tends to say things that just don't sit right with me and tries to make me feel stupid, childish, or even immature for not feeling the same way he does. (laughs) For instance, I believe in monogamy and he says I'm definitely too young for that. Mind you, I'm 26, but honestly, either way, he says I should never be monogamous. What should I say to him or my boyfriend or should I just break up with my boyfriend before things get too deep since when you marry someone, you marry their family? (laughs) First of all, have you ever not liked somebody you were dating their family member? No, I don't usually talk to people family. Yeah, I don't think I've ever like blatantly (laughs) not liked them. Yeah, I don't know. I'm very socially awkward. I don't Uh talk to people's families. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, what do you think she should do, though? I don't like, know. That's a little that. weird. That I think that's weird that that's a different type of person. Like, for him to be that comfortable to, like, say to you, this is not how you should live your lifestyle. Like, yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't, like, I, I don't like those type of people that think, like, everybody has to live the exact same way that they are. Like, sir go somewhere so i think that's really weird especially on topics like that like monogamy like come on first of all what is with this whole thing about people like trying to act like monogamy is just such a bad thing like i don't get it i don't get it like can we throw that away please please like there are some people out here that would still like to be monogamous i'm one of them (laughs) i'm one of them um but yeah that's just really weird to me that this that the brother is like don't live your life like that like (laughs) I'm sorry. Did somebody tell you how to live your life? Like, geez. Period. And then I hope he's, I hope he's not saying it in front of his brother because, like, I feel like if I call yeah, my sister, I was thinking about. Yeah. I was like, dang, not his brother. Like, yeah, go get you another man. Right. <laughs> that or then like, like I feel like if I caught my sister like 
telling my boyfriend something and like talking about how they live their life i would like speak up for my boyfriend because they probably would feel like they can't yeah. jump down my sister's throat so but i can't i would jump <laughs> down my sister's throat like but i i feel that's very weird that the brother is just like he hasn't said anything yet or like hasn't noticed it like that's just weird yeah it's very weird like so yeah <laughs> but so the first thing that i would say is if i don't think i don't agree with like your person is who your family is uh oh like when you date when you marry somebody you marry their family yeah i okay. don't agree with that and i feel like if you if this is making you uncomfortable and you've brought it up to that person and they haven't said anything, sure. But if you've never said anything and it's making you uncomfortable and they don't know about it, then mm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) only because it's like, okay, how they're supposed to correct something that they don't know about. And also you always have like outliers in people's families. Like there's always one person. So like, I don't know where you, I guess you can get less. Right. Like you're not going to like all of them. Yeah. Yeah. You're never going to like everybody. Um, Mm -hmm. And so, I don't know. My thing is, I would say, one, it depends on how close they are. Like, if they are, like, best of friends, like, you always going to be around this person, like, mm, you might, if having a conversation with them isn't going to work, you might want to let that go. <laughs> like, because you're going to be around that person a lot, and yeah. that's a lot, that, that's just a lot to deal with. Like, even if you, they do address that situation, and he corrects how he talks to you about monogamy, like, no. Um, but if they don't see each other too often, if they're not super close or like, I mean, they're, they're brothers. So obviously you're going to see them at like, I just feel I'm, I'm close to my siblings and they have beliefs that I just don't believe in uh-huh. and it has nothing to do with me. Well, yeah, but I don't like, they don't force it down your throat. Do they? I don't know. They're kind of young still. So, oh, well, true. <laughs> true. <laughs> but like, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't believe that. Like if they're close to them. No, I don't think so. So then a boundary just needs to be set. Yeah. 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 You just need to (laughs) talk to your boyfriend. And if the conversation is not giving what you wanted it to give when you talk to your boyfriend, then I would say break up with them. Break up. But I do agree with the whole you marry someone, you marry their family. I I do agree with that. So, because mine come as a package deal. So, (laughs) if you marry my family, me marry my family. Throw it away. Okay. No, uh, I was just like, no. we, we don't come as package deal. Only if I want to go over there. <laughs> oh my gosh. I guess I'm, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I guess I feel, feel obligated. Oh. Yeah. Especially if like the guy's close with their family, like I would feel obligated to always be around too. Oh, well, true. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. It's just going to have to be like, we're chesty. I don't know. <laughs> she ain't feel like hanging out today. <laughs> but eventually that get old then they start talking about you and then like if your kid's going then you eventually have to like i don't know i'm Never just have i cared about somebody talking about me that is true you do not care that is very <laughs> that's where we're different like y'all just go have imaginary beef have it not an imaginary beef that means i don't gotta come for real then y'all go stop yeah, inviting that me true. that yeah won. they'll stop inviting you oh i just won the game the long game <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, yeah. So have the conversation. If it don't work out, break up. Especially since y'all ain't been dating that long. So yeah, it ain't been that long. Yeah, six months. No. Um, but thanks for the question. Um, so we will get into our topic today, and today we are going to be talking about work ethic. Mm-mm-mm. Work, work, work. Because some of y'all need to work. work on your work ethic. You see what I did there? <laughs> I hate it here. <laughs> Somebody send me a new co-host. <laughs> you are lying. <laughs> I am your favorite co-host. Anybody want to be a guest co-host? Let me know. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to start with a quote. Um, the title or. Chastity, you pulled this in my reading. What am I reading? Because there's not statistics. Oh, see, quit trying to read my quote. I'm sorry. This is your second time. And then you be lost on what you're supposed to read. <laughs> because I thought it was a, like... No, no, ass. no. <laughs> okay. Okay, anyways. So since we're talking about worth ethic, I wanted, to talk to, I wanted to talk about women in the workplace and some of the stereotypes around women's 
work ethic and like the reason why you know women aren't in positions of power Mm -hmm. so let me scroll let me scroll okay a new report from the u.s census bureau which determines the worth of higher education in the u.s and exemplifies the continual pay gap of male and female employees who have equal degrees underlines that every field in level of education, men earn higher wages than women. The report shows that men earn $800 more than women every month amongst Americans with any form of post high school degree, high school degree, including vocational, well, associates, whatever. The pay gap um, becomes even wider as men and women pursue more education and earn, earn higher degrees. In business, men with bachelor degree bachelor degrees make a thousand dollars more each month compared to their female classmates amongst men and women who hold advanced degrees in business men make fourteen hundred dollars more a month and it just continues to increase the higher the degree goes okay so i just wanted to add that little thing in there because you're telling people to work hard but the women working hard baby and they ain't get paid for it so <laughs> I guess when I was thinking about work ethic, I wasn't necessarily just thinking about it just to make money. I know, but I'm, I'm just saying, you can't just be telling people they ain't working hard enough and then you out here working your butt off and you ain't getting nothing for it. It ain't gonna make me want to work. So, I guess then maybe what? Is it work smarter then? Like you're you're going about things the wrong way? No. You can't outsmart a man's society. I mean, true, but like if you don't have the proper... Like, okay, so let's say you do have a good work ethic, Mm -hmm. but you're not getting to where you're trying to get to. That means you're not going about it the right way. No. (laughs) Why not? (laughs) Because if you, if any Tom, Dick, or Harry can come Uh in and have less of less experience than you you work you've been working your butt off you've been doing all of these things and they come in and they're like yeah i'm gonna excel at this job and they do the interview and they get the job and they now earn more money than you Mm -hmm. you've essentially worked to the same career path worked to the same level and you still are at lesser than your male counterpart so you're okay so So even if you follow the right path and you do all the right things Somebody can come and just be like, well, here I am. Here I go. I earn more than you. I've I've done way less. I'm way less experienced, blah, blah. So I don't know. That's how I feel. I don't know. I guess I just feel really strongly about work ethic because, <laughs> like, there are just so many people that, like, say they are going to do A, B, C, or D, or, like, they want to do A, B, C, or D, or always complaining that they don't have A, B, C, or D, and it's like... If you had the proper work ethic, then you would get there. I I believe that a lot of professional athletes are where they are because of their worth at work ethic, not necessarily because they are the most talented. Now, you do have those Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, and Michael Jordan who are just like full blown. Y'all, they're just very talented individuals. So, couple that with an amazing work ethic, like boom, you are <laughs> superb, like supreme. Can nobody touch you? But like those what do you what do you call them regular level i don't know the regular professional athletes like the the not superb i don't know i don't because they're amazing because they became a professional like not everybody does that i think it's not i think their work ethic shined way more than their talent which is why they got to where they are so it's like i don't i feel like if you don't have a good work ethic you're not you it's just not possible to get to where you want to get to that contradicts everything you just said why because you just said there's people who are extremely talented that well, right. get there but right. you said if you don't have one you won't get anywhere but if you already are talented in a thing you want to do and you have a horrible work ethic you're going to get there well not no no, no. <laughs> so i said but i said with the like superb athlete supreme like that their talent couple with the work ethic got them there so i'm saying like you can't go solely off talent like I, I don't think a white man can solely go off the fact, solely go off the fact, hold on, that he is just white and can get to wherever he wants to because you have these white men who are homeless. Like, so you don't have the worth ethic or the desire to get to this point in your life. Like, yes, you being a white male is going to help 20 times more. So yeah, I don't want to say that they don't have a leg up, but it's like, if they don't have somewhat of a work ethic they're not going to get anywhere they're going to they they might become a bum on the street like 
No? Mm-hmm. Not at all? No. <laughs> like, I I agree to the point that you, like, okay, yeah, you got to work. You got to do some work to get some stuff. Mm-hmm. But some stuff is just handed to people. Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, here, I'll give an example. My mom, <laughs> um, she was investigating this case. There's okay. this man. He's super high up in the company, like super, super high up. Um, literally did nothing. No work. Okay. Every time people were like, oh, how's this update coming for this project? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we, we're just going along, going along. Did that for years. Male, white male did mm-hmm. that for years. Nobody ever checked him. Somebody finally is like upset because he was blaming everyone else that the projects weren't getting done. And mm-hmm. they were like, um, this is not getting done. I'm feeling upset. He's picking me out, blah, blah, blah. They finally investigate this man after years of doing nothing. Mm-hmm. And he literally has done nothing. All he did was go on vacations and then take credit for other people's work. Men did absolutely nothing. They never questioned him, never interrogated him, never said anything about why don't you know what's going on in the case? Mm-hmm. Why don't you know what's going on in your project you're supposedly working on? Never questioned him. Okay. Man at the top making some of the highest numbers at the that they pay at that company. Didn't do nothing for years. So no, like, like, and I'm sure the people who were doing the projects, completing the projects, were mm -hmm. working a thousand times harder than him and did not have that opportunity. You see he got called out. You see he got checked. Only because somebody whistle blew basically right this and i don't think it's gonna i don't think that's sustainable you not having a good worth at why can't i say this word work ethic is going like i don't think that's sustainable you're not going to get very far because eventually life's going to catch up with you your your poor (laughs) work is going to get catch up with you okay the man he got fired okay right so it caught up no 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 he got fired He's already, he got fired. He's already somebody who has all of this clout on his name. Yeah. He could just go to the next company and do the same thing. And the next company is going to fire him. I'm saying he's going to have this repeated Mm -hmm. cycle of like. No, he was there for like 20 years. I mean, if you got to come up and you making one of the higher salaries at the company for 20 plus years, you already made it. You just, you just taking the credit now. I mean, yeah, but (laughs) so I'm not saying like hard work doesn't get you anywhere, but I'm also pointing out the biases and the things that are very relevant and parent that you see all the time. Even when we were at our old company, Mm -hmm. we were the top people in our, in our state. We were, we worked hard for it. We like getting sexually harassed every day, working hard. We (laughs) couldn't even get an interview. Yeah, that is true. We couldn't even get an interview. People were calling us out on meetings, nationwide meetings. They're right. like, oh, you guys are doing so well. We're going to mm-hmm. come visit your place. Your they come and visit yeah. you. Nothing. You can't tell. You can't sit here and tell me. We worked hard. I mean, yeah. The work was there. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you there, but I can't, I can't we hop were, on the same train of like, you, I'm, if I'm you not have completely work dismissing ethic. worth ethic, though. But okay. I'm also saying that. It gets you far, and then you need other stuff to get further. Right. And we didn't have no clout. We had clout, but we didn't have no clout. Right, right. Literally. Right. It's like, we're working hard. Like, yeah, we want to go here. We're going to get to the next level. Mm -hmm. We're going to do this. I'm going to have the number one territory in my state, blah, blah, blah. People are calling me out, coming and visit me. I want to move up into the corporate office. Okay, let's interview. Mm -hmm. No call back. No right, interview. it's like we weren't no talking setup. to the right people. Like no, yeah, I don't know. Like I feel like you're missing what I'm saying. No, I get what you're saying. No, because you just said we're not talking to the right people. Right. Who else are you going to talk to? You have corporate people coming to your territory. Who else do? Who's else? Balls? Do you need to be on <laughs> to be like to be there? Like if it's not. If the if the place is not for you, it's not for you. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. I agree with you. Need to work hard to get to get to places, but also I think that you have to step back and realize everything is not your fault. You can yeah. work you can work yourself to death and never get to the place that this person got to because mm-hmm. you just don't. You're not white. You don't have the clout. You don't know um, his father that's been in this company for a thousand years. Mm-hmm. Like. 
I agree with you. I do, I do think... I agree with you there. <laughs> but I also think there is that other side to it. Like, so, yes, there's that side of, like, you got to look at who you are, who you know, and you may not have that... You not may not be able to have that leg up no matter how hard you work. However, at the same time, I feel like there's so many people out here in the world that are lazy and they are blaming it on other things besides their work ethic. Like, I know people... Like, okay, there are people out there trying to do YouTube, right? Everybody thinks that they can be a YouTube vlogger, whatever. <laughs> like, the amount of work, and I mean, just off this podcast, and we are not vlogging daily, the amount of work and effort that has to go into this podcast, I could not imagine if I was doing YouTube full time every single day. <laughs> like, that, the, like, I credit those people who have millions of followers and who are putting out content. Like, Aaliyah, she puts out content, what, like three times a week, three to four times a week? Like, I like that is just it amazes me because that work ethic is like insane and I don't and I listen to those people who complain who are like oh like I'm not growing or um they're just complaining about just where they are they're not making money from it blah 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 but it's like okay you put out a video every three weeks or not even every three weeks so you put it out this month and then maybe two months later and then maybe the next day and then like there's no work ethic there so it's like you also have those people who are like who this you ain't got to be white to be on youtube it's black people thriving it's hispanic people thriving like they're thriving and um some of the highest uh youtubers that people are watching and it's like so it's it's not it's it's the work ethic in those type of situations that's why i'm saying there are those instances where like okay it may not be me it's just i just don't have that leg up because of who i am because of the color of my skin because of the gender that i am but there's also those people that need to be real with themselves like no i just don't have a good work ethic like i can't be complaining so that's what i'm saying i was with you all the way <laughs> i saw until your face change you. <laughs> i saw your face change because <sighs> because i just want to acknowledge the fact that let's talk about some of the top youtubers let's talk about jackie mm-hmm. Ina. jackie Ina is one of the top black creators I never jackie this person. was on youtube for like eight years consistently okay. before she even took off okay. you know who else was also on youtube her white counterparts you know when they took off eight years before she did mm-hmm. a year in mm-hmm. and she was putting in 10 times more work than they were doing releasing videos being authentic supporting her community mm-hmm. doing all of these things and it took an enormous <laughs> amount more time to do it like sure we like can't compare like whatever blah 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 uh-huh. but like it's well, a thing that happened so like if you see p- other people who are doing the minimum and you're like okay like this is the content, this is my guide, this is what I'm doing, and you're copying them, and you're not getting anything from it, mm-hmm. It, I can see how it can like make you feel crappy because it's like, well, I'm putting in the same amount of effort as this person. I think I'm 10 times funnier than this person, and nothing's happening for me, and they did the bare minimum. Yeah, and I agree with you because like, so what I'm comparing when I was saying that is like a person who I was just describing who randomly posts like they have no schedule, nothing like that's a crappy work at work ethic. If you don't go compare yourself to somebody who's white and say it's because they're white. <laughs> now, now th- I agree with you 100% because you have horrible decisions and call her daddy, call her daddy like or horrible decisions been around forever and call her daddy came out of nowhere and just like blew up because you have two white females versus two black bisexual females so, or women sorry um and so it's like yeah in that instance that's where you can say like it has nothing to do with work ethic like both of them are grinding it's just so happens that one is a minority and the other are some white women like so those are that's where i'm like yes 100 percent. that's where you can pull that in but then at the same time those people that are over here like n- no consistent schedule not putting anything into it that's not it's your work ethic so that's that's what i was trying to get at that's i didn't i yeah i wasn't trying to compare to like <laughs> top youtubers that are uh, different demographics yeah. i mean guess i can get like if you aren't doing anything at all and you're like oh i'm post this one video and hope for it to go viral mm-hmm. i do believe you should be realistic with yourself and take into account your things that you have going on like yeah your age your skin color your whatever whatever because they are important so mm-hmm. like just because um someone posts and then they immediately like i don't know for me i'm sorry i'm talking in circles okay for me 
it's hard to see because it's like I like for example TikTok you get on TikTok and people sometimes people post and it randomly just explodes and the next thing you know they take off Mm -hmm. and the thing that's upsetting about that is TikTok promotes a lot of videos where people of for people of lighter skin complexion okay. so if you're posting based off their algorithm based off their video vi- video readers if you're posting and you're somebody of my complexion mm-hmm. you have half the chance of what someone else had just because they were just randomly posting like right. they just took off like okay. you can see people there's people online like on tiktok there's this guy i don't know he's like the first he's like one of the black creators on tiktok i don't know his name but he's Mm -hmm. like he's the top one on tiktok now the top one that man puts in 10 times more work than the person who's second to him and i actually know what you're talking about because (laughs) there was something on the shade room actually and like the way they talked about him in the exactly and she goes out and she gets all of these like these brand deals she Mm -hmm. gets invited to the met gala she gets to go to all of these places and that man is working 10 times as harder has way more followers has way more engagement has Mm -hmm. way more clout and no accolades yeah so oh i just i can i feel like you should work hard for what you want to do i agree like you should have some work ethic for what you want to do but i don't think that you should work hard and immediately expect payback for your working hard. Oh, I 100% agree with that. Yeah, like, because I feel like that would be, like, for instance, like, we work very hard for this podcast. Like, the time, I mean, money, the time, the <laughs> coming back and forth, like, we shave out whole weekends. Like, we, I don't think y'all know how much goes into this. But, like, it would be crazy for us to automatically think we were supposed to be getting paid after what the second podcast like that i that's why i agree with you like you got to be realistic and you shouldn't expect that um payback right away so i do agree with you there but i want to ask you um have you have you had to ever have like real conversations with yourself about like your worth that work Jesus, your work ethic um and like like if it was ever bad or if you need to like readjust or anything like that Mm, yes but i never had a bad at work ethic i worked too hard okay (laughs) so you've had to like have like take a step back and be like okay yeah like i am an at me as a person i always wanted to do great like Mm -hmm. i don't believe in doing good i always want to be the best person who ever did it like amen i want (laughs) to i want to leave and be like I want to leave and I want y'all to talk about me for years. And I don't even work there no more. I just mm-hmm. want my name to hover around. Yeah. Like, that's how I, like I that. feel as a person who was working. So uh-huh. then me getting into like my jobs and going through, I'm like, I'm working so hard and I get nothing for all of this work. Mm-hmm. Like the pay is barely for all of this work. I'm doing all this extra stuff. I'm trying to move up and nothing is happening. Mm-hmm. And it's not because of my work ethic. Like, I'm working hard. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not because of that. And then I'm like, okay, so what is the reason? <laughs> so, oh, so I had to take a step back and be like, look, calm down. This ain't your, this ain't, this ain't your company, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I only, so now I believe in working hard for things you actually want, not working hard for other people's stuff. You know, I actually really agree with that. I was thinking about that the other day um, about how, like, I will only work so hard for someone else. Yeah. Like, I will <laughs> put in my 40 hours 100%. I will give you I will give you what I'm supposed to give for this job, but I am not going to put in 80 hours to for a company that I do not own. That's just not happening. It's not. Um, so, yeah, I definitely agree with that. Like, I'm only going to work so hard for <laughs> somebody else. Like... Yeah, mm. so yeah I'm, I'm part of the people who are quite quite quitting not at my current job but like i just saw that when i was uh flying here what is that about i, I didn't really get to look it up too much you were somebody who was like overworking or like added on a ton of responsibilities and now you go back to doing what was in your job description what you getting paid for okay <laughs> i like that and so now that's what i do only what i get paid for and I think that's important <laughs> because, like, companies just can't be out here having hiring one person to do 50 people's job. Like, it's just not – that's not sustainable. No one can have a healthy work-life balance. Like, 
Yeah, it's I not like sustainable. That. And then I think, yeah, I think it helps balance out both sides too mm-hmm. because like if they're just constantly adding on and adding on and adding on and you're taking on and you're like adjusting your stuff and you're like oh yeah i can make it work whatever mm-hmm. i don't think i can but i don't think that inter- the company realizes like oh we should just hire another person we right. need another person because right. you have taken on the job of like four people mm-hmm. right <laughs> like so um yeah so i think it's a good balance on both sides to be like okay this person is doing their job they're mm-hmm. maxed out at the capabilities of what their job describes like should we be giving them a raise should we be promoting them should mm-hmm. we be hiring someone on- else on because we can't handle this workload yeah like i know somebody who Great work ethic. Um, They work for a corporate company and they are like a higher level manager. And I've, I've heard them complain about how much work they have. However, they love, they like the work that they're doing. (laughs) When I tell you this person works their 40 hours, they go home and work. So that's plus 40 hours. And then they also do work on the weekends. And I'm talking like, like another eight hours because they just have so much work and they just keep getting piled on. And I'm just like, you don't want to look bad, but at the same time, you're, they're never going to hire somebody else if you're just going to keep doing all of this. And it's just like, never. It, it makes me so sad because it's like, you kind of stuck in, between a rock and a hard place. Like, what do you do? Do yeah. you fall back and then you could ruin your reputation? Or, because I mean, a conversation ain't about to just, that's not about to fix it. <laughs> like, I know they know how much work they give me. <laughs> like, there's there's no way just a conversation is going to fix it. So it's like, no, they need to hire somebody else. But like, what do you do? So, um. But yeah, I mean, I personally, like I've had to have real conversations with myself. Like when I was younger, I did not have the best work ethic. Um, I mean, I'll even take it real young. When I was golfing, my <laughs> so my dad had a dream. He had a dream. And, I mean, but I could see why. Sorry. No, you're fine. Go ahead. I was about to say, I could see why you wouldn't, like, that's not something you wanted to do. Wait, what? What I thought you they made you do golf. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like so, that's not something you wanted to do. Like track yeah. is not something I super wanted to do. I just got put into it. So like right. of course I'm not gonna work as hard as the person who picked the sport. Right. Like Yeah. So it was like <laughs> it was weird. My dad wanted my older sister and I, so I have two sisters. I have an older sister and a little sister. But well he wanted all three of us to kind of be like the Ve- the Venus and Serena Williams of golf. Um but I did not love golf very much. Um my older sister loved it. Um I was just very talented at it. So this is like one of those instances where if you're not putting in the work ethic, who cares about how far your talent will get? Um, so yeah, I was I was very good at golf. Um, but because I was not putting in all the extra work, like it wasn't like I was superb. So I was only going to go so far. And then eventually, and at the very least, my parents wanted us to get um, athletic scholarships just so we wouldn't have to pay for college. Um, so I think it was like, 10th or 11th grade where I was like crap like what am I about to do about college (laughs) so I was like I have to work harder now to be superb to get these scholarships and blah 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 um so I had to have a real conversation with myself of like okay the reason I'm not getting better the reason my scores aren't getting lower is because I'm not working that hard so that's where one of those instances are it one one of those instances are is is one of those instances instances is that's where you have one of those instances where um you i can't blame it on anyone else i can't compare myself to anyone else of how well they're doing compared to me it's pretty much just i was not working as hard as them so i was never going to get as far as i wanted to or as far as they wanted to um so i think like that was a point in time in high school where just overall my work ethic changed um with work and just everything like the now how i i I always (laughs) want to put in a ton of effort even if even if it's not for me i still want to put in a ton of effort because it's taking up my time so that's why it's like i won't go 110 percent to work for somebody else but i will go my 100 percent because it's like i still have to like i'm putting in time i'm not wasting my time but i only get so much time on this earth so if i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it so (laughs) Yeah. So I do think there are times when you just need to have that conversation with yourself. Like, okay, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Like go harder. If I want this, if I want this. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. If you want it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't feel like you can blame yourself in that thing though. Like it wasn't something you were really passionate about. It wasn't, (laughs) but I still, I'm not going to go like, okay. Like my parents wanted me to do this, this activity Mm -hmm. for college, but like, 
I'm not going to go go hard for it if I didn't want to do it. Yeah. Especially as a teen, like you didn't want to do it. Like, but I will say when I got, when I started looking at colleges, um, I really wanted to go to a D1 school, a bigger school, but I was not to the level, my, my skills were not to the level of a D1 school, they were to the level of a D2 school. So because- But did you want to play golf at the D1 school or did you just want to go my senior year, I did. By my senior year, I did, but I did not want to not go to a D1 school, so I made the decision <laughs> to not even play in college just so I can go to a D1 school, which- we won't even talk about why that I, I low key regret that decision, but whatever. Um, but yeah, so I'm still confused. So you wanted to play then, or you didn't? There was a point in time where my mindset changed, where I wanted to play in college, but it was too late because I wasn't putting in enough effort back then. So it just took too long for me to realize that's what <laughs> I wanted to do. I guess. So yeah, I get it. Yeah, work ethic changed. <laughs> um. Oh, I, I wrote this down, but we're not even really going to get into it about <laughs> thieves and their poor work work ethic. I, I, That's hard I was work thinking, to be a thief. Okay, but like, <laughs> if you just going to steal from somebody, like, <laughs> it's just that take, 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 like, yeah. go, go work hard. Like, I, it's so frustrating. <laughs> like, how Mariah Carey's, um, a, yeah, she was in, I was in Paris or somewhere in Europe and she just got robbed. For real? Yeah. Mm. And I'm just like... That woman works tirelessly. Well, I don't know her, but she seems like she works tirelessly and hard for like what she has. Like, come on, like. Uh, so yeah, we're not gonna get into the little thief conversation. I am um, weak, but yeah, so hard truth. <laughs> <laughs> work hard for what you want. That's my hard truth. Okay. Work hard for what you want. Okay. And my hard truth is stop complaining about what you don't have and get your butt up and do something about it. I want to change mine. Okay. <laughs> Work hard for what you want, but be realistic. That's what I'm going to say. And the realistic part is coming from the... Oh, sometimes people are just going to be better. Oh, okay. okay. Like, I don't know. Like, think about Usain... What's his name? Usain Bolt? Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure he's just naturally fast. Yeah. <laughs> like, he was yeah. just born like that. There's the some was, type of bone or something that works he better. He was just born like yeah. that. So uh, I'm sure all the people who were competing against were, like, working really hard, mm-hmm. working their butt off, training hard, training after hours. And, like, he probably just did a regular. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know him. But, like. Right. But, so, right, like you said, there are some people that just, God bless them, sprinkled something on him. It was like, here, so, you yeah, are going to be talented at this. work hard, but mm-hmm. be realistic. That's yeah. all I'm saying. I, okay. <laughs> I can get with like, that. You might not always be the best because I know it's hard. But because I be wanting to be the best too. But work hard for what you want. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Well, thank you for tuning in today, guys. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your week. If you would like to submit a hard ask, you can do so at she likes it hard. Oh, Jesus. You can do it at she likes it hard podcast at gmail.com or DM <laughs> us on any of our social social. I cannot talk today. Socials at she likes it underscore hard. Um, if you'd like to check us out on YouTube, you can do so at she likes it hard podcast. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you listen to us on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, please leave a rating and review um we love you guys happy tuesday have a great rest of your week and we'll talk to you next week bye